Hello everybody. Today I am sharing with you a journal that I have put together. This is an altered file traveler's notebook style 3M1 journal. <sighs> Quite the mouthful. Um, that's, that's kind of what it is. And it is made out of an a file folder. A couple of weeks ago when I was making a file folder I think for Fiona I started playing around with it to see what else I could do and this is not a new idea by all means. These sorts of things were made many 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 years ago uh, back in the scrapbooking days, the original scrapbooking days, um, like little brag books that you would put in your handbag or something like that. Much smaller than this of course but that's the same concept. Um, they have been around for a long time. What I did was I opened up my file folder till it's to its full size and I folded this part here up to the nine inch mark so that the actual journal cover is nine inches in length. Once I'd done that I just so that's it folded up like that okay I went along and scored at four inches and then half an inch then another four inches and half an inch another four inches half an inch and then four more inches and then just cut off the excess which was probably about you know an inch and a half or something like that so that's all I did so it's four inches and a half an inch and then I have concertinaed it in like that I have just cut this bottom part in two places to allow that to be like a flip up pocket and that's how I've made my journal and this is what I've made and I have used the paper collection that is called Gentleman's Emporium and it's by a company called Couture Creations. I bought this probably a couple of months ago now from my local scrapbooking shop. I didn't buy the full set, just a few select pages and a, I think a small packet of, do I still have this? Okay and a packet of um, Gentleman's Emporium die cut ephemera set uh, that has I'm not quite sure how many pieces are in there but they're all those pieces there anyway um, it is a masculine kit but I love the blues of it um, and I think it can work for both masculine and feminine. So this is what I've put together. It's very, very big, but um, it doesn't have to stay that way. Okay, so on the front I have just collaged some laces and papers and flowers. And I've used some of the beautiful papers from the collection. I've also used one of the die cuts there and just popped it up a little bit and there's lots of stitching through this book. I've used some seam binding for a closure and that is, I got that from Witchcraft Do You Do from Kerry. Thank you Kerry. I have joined it here, a smaller piece and the larger piece here at this side. Then it opens up. And by the, um, what I mean by traveler star is it is on the elastic band system. You will see the elastic bands here. And in the front here, there's that one of those pockets. Um, I've used lots of off cuts and scraps that I had around uh, of papers and laces. So I just, I have a tag there. It's not overly decorated, I wouldn't think. It's done in a style that I enjoy where it's not over the top but there's enough there to look pretty. And that's just like a little accordion style tag. And I've used some of the yarn from Michelle. Thank you Michelle for that. I've edged all the um, pages and ephemera and everything like that in the... Okay. 
in the Ranger Archival Ink and it's Shadow Grey. Okay, so this is our first notebook and I've sort of, you know, I've stitched paper on and I've also like um, just grunged up the end a little bit with a pair of scissors to give it a shabby look. Um, this is a paper from a different paper collection that I have, but I thought with the blues in it, it kind of softened it a little bit so it goes really well and some tatting down the side. And I'm going to quickly go through these because there are a lot. I've also pinched my husband's masking tape. We had our, um, he painted the house through uh, the other day. That's why I haven't been on much because if, if you've ever had the inside of your house painted, you'll know it's a pretty big job to move everything around and then put everything back. <laughs> um, so I haven't had a lot of time for crafting. But anyway, so I put masking tape in the center and in other places as well. All the insides are reinforced with different things. This is a bag from Luscious Laces, Luscious Laces on Facebook. And I've just made a little journal spot for that. Cut the end off it, decorated it with a few scraps. There's different papers. This is, it's quite a thick paper, this one, and it's all tea and coffee dyed. Probably a combination of both. It's just what I had in the basket there. So, and some music paper. That is a tsunami rose butterfly. There's some washi tape throughout as well. Just lots of little collage. That's a flower from Michelle. Just a fabric piece to flip up and some ribbons. That's that um, lovely trim I recently got when thrifting and I just cut some of the flowers out of it. It's just a little card I originally got from Olivia Hernandez uh, quite a few years ago in one of my challenges, I think. So thank you, Olivia. And I loved the colours and I thought they just went really nicely with this. And that's, I don't know where I got that picture from. It was in my, um, in with my other flowers, but I've just cut that out and put it on there. Add a bit of colour. That's a playing card that I had in my stash. And that's a, a tag from, um, once again, from Kerry from Witchcraft Do You Do. I think she sells her tags on her website as well. And it's got this beautiful lace in the tassel there. There's the, that's the middle. That's the elastic there. So these can come out, which is, it makes it easier to be writing on them and I'll show you that in a moment. That's a bridge card that I've just collaged on and backed to make it a bit stronger. This is an envelope and I trimmed the edge end of the envelope because it was it was like well these pieces here are the end of the envelope so it was out another inch or so and then I've just got it flipping open like that with some paper to write on in there. Not every page is decorated. That's um, a scrap of paper left from the Atelier uh, Stamperia paper collection but because it's got the blues in it as well it went lovely with this and just a collage. There's some mother of pearl buttons all the way through these. More collage work there. Some more washi tape and some wallpaper. That's just a little flower that came off an envelope from Robin. Thank you, Robin. I thought, well, it can go in here rather than just not doing anything. Just a postage stamp. More buttons and flowers from Michelle. Just a little notebook with the scrap papers made from the end of a time card. That time card I think was sent to me by Crafty Irene. Thank you Irene. 
one. That's the other end of the bag from Lush and Slaces. And that's the first little notebook finished. And I did use the file folder to make a cover. And then I've also put this decorative paper as well. But I just left a little piece on the front and the back. I'll say just a little piece just to add a bit of interest there. There's another pocket with a collage. I have a self-made envelope here made from the uh, Gentleman's Emporium collection with some washi tape and just another piece from the collection that I've made into a tag. And I love these striped papers and things. I really do like this paper collection. And the blues and things like that and the vintage look of it is just lovely. Okay, a bit of tool up there and then we flip over and we have our next section. And then once again we have a couple of journal tags in there and some collage work. And we're on to our second notebook now. The, all the notebooks are done pretty much the same. So another bridge card and there's the other part of that time card with another mother of pearl button just one of the dies from the collection and some crochet doily scrap down there it's quite a tall journal so, and it's not very wide it's only quite narrow four inches some more washi uh, not washi some um, masking tape And I did notice a couple of days ago, I think I saw uh, Susie, is it, from Creative Cafe Girl put up a, a journal she made and it is a very similar style. Not the same, um, but you know, the, the, the journal within the flip thing, but they are different. Um, I just thought I'd mention that because I thought, oh, isn't it funny, you know, how people think of similar things at the same time and there's just another envelope there she also does these lovely little um, slender skinny things as well that I would like to try just a takeaway thing and that's just a tuck spot in there do I have something show you a tucked oh that'll do scrap okay but not, not the best idea but you get the idea and I didn't mean to put two in a row there but it ended up that way so <laughs> uh. just a little tab stapled on here's a fabric flip And that's the second one. Once again, a self-made envelope there. And a, a journaling card there. And that's the back cover. But then you open it up like this. And you have the inside of the back. Which, once again, has a couple of journaling cards in there. And a collage and this is a full pocket it runs the full length once again it's on the elastics I have here a tag to write on and just a little magnetic clip and that was a piece from the die collection as well and I thought well that's going to make a nice little magnetic closure so that's what I'll do because you know I'm loving my magnets at the moment <laughs> And they're not bulky at all, so that's really nice. Just some more collage work, another fabric flip there, some more of that lovely um, yarn from Michelle. It's really nice. It's got bits of fabric stuck into it and things as well. More wallpaper, and that was from Rena, that wallpaper. It's really beautiful. Let's just a little tuck 
doesn't go all the way through, it just sort of goes to there. Um, more of that wallpaper and just a little place to write on, on those. And more of the yarn there as well. More collage, buttons, music paper. There's the center. Another flower. Another one of those um, trim flowers. There's another envelope piece there. This one has a little tuck spot behind it. These cards actually come from the reverse side of a couple of the papers. Uh, do I have this sort of like like this sort of thing here? See on that side you've got that, the double-sided papers. But then you've got these ephemera you can cut out on the other side. That opens up once again. And a button. So lots of room for writing, which is what I like. And that's the inside cover. And that's just a little pocket. That's one of those envelopes from Bonnie and Clive. And I've just put a little clip on that to hold it. There with some collage work. That's the back cover. That's just another journal spot and a journal spot there as well with a thread. And then you turn it there and then we're back at our front cover once again. And then it just closes there like that. But like I said, if you find it difficult to write in, of course you would like that. Well, you could either open it up like that and write on it or you could just remove the notebook as you want to use it and then when you've finished writing in it you can just pop it back in there like that. Okay, um, which is easy enough to do. So, try to find my back. Oh, there's my back there. Okay. So, but if you lay it out like that, you could quite easily use it like that if you wanted to. So, let's just put it back together. And I hope you like this large journal. <laughs> I can't say it's a little one. It was fun to do. It has taken me a while to do because like I said I started it a few weeks ago but because I didn't get much time for crafting this past week or so it's been ideal to have this on my desk so I can just pop in do a couple of bits and you know continue what I've been doing in the house as well um, which still isn't completely back to normal. I still have some things that um, like a couple of heavy things that need to be hung but I need one of my sons to come over to help my husband because they're too too heavy for us to handle so there we go it is a altered file folder traveler's notebook style concertina journal <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.